Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited for today's video. First of all, I just want to mention that this video was inspired by the flip plushie by Joanne at the channel Macaroon. I know she did a flip sock plushie recently and that's totally what inspired me to make this one. I actually got a request to make a panda plushie and as it's Valentine's Day coming up and I wanted to do lots of Valentine's videos, I thought what better opportunity than to make the two in one, a Valentine's panda and a normal panda and do them as a flip plushie. So what I'll do is I'll leave Macaroon's video down below and I'll leave it in a little eye at the top so you can click on that and have a look. I have actually made mine a little bit different with a few additions and with different materials and stuff like that so I hope you can appreciate the differences. So I hope you enjoyed this video, it did take me a long while to get this perfect but I'm super super happy with how it turned out. So I'll show you exactly how I made it right now. So to start off with I used a pink sock and on the top of mine I actually had a white strip. I didn't actually want to use this on mine so what I did was I created a new top of the sock basically. I took a needle and thread and tied it in a knot at the end and then I did the same line that was at the top all the way along the pink. When ending the thread, I then looped it back into the sock, looped it on my finger and pulled through. This then created a knot. Once this was cut off, I then took my scissors and cut off the excess bit that I didn't want. Then with the sock still inside out, I then took a Starbucks cup and I popped the sock over it. I then took some hot glue and then started gluing some stuffing on the outside. In order for your sock plushie to stay reversible with all the stuffing in place, you will need to glue some stuffing like this. This is so that when you turn it inside out, some of it will still stay in place and it will stay in the shape that you want it when it's both this way round and the other way round. I hope that makes sense. You can use anything to do this, a cup, a bottle, just anything you have hanging around. Next I took a white sock the right way around and put this over the stuffing. I then pulled off the cup and I realised that I needed to use a lot more stuffing to make my panda nice and chubby, so in between the pink sock and the white sock I then added some more. I then cut off the excess off the bottom of the socks. Next I went and took some thread and then threaded together the two ends. What you want to do here if you actually make this is actually turn the edges in on themselves and sew the two folded edges together. This is so that you won't get any fluff or anything like that falling off the sock which you don't really want. You'll want to just keep folding them in and sewing until you get all the way round. This would be a little bit fiddly but it will be worth it in the end. Next taking the excess that I cut off, I then cut out a circle from the white sock and the pink sock. This was to create a little flap at the bottom so that I wasn't left with that kind of hole at the bottom of the other colour if that makes any sense. So what I did was I sewed around the whole edges of the two circles all the way around until I had about two inches left. I then turned this inside out so that I was left with a flap with the really neat edges. Next I took the pink bit and attached this to the pink bit of the plush. I made sure not to sew the white bit of the inside and the white bit of the flap also so that when it turns out it's able to kind of fall back on itself if that makes any sense here you can kind of see what I mean. And what I did was I sewed this till it was about two thirds of the way around. The more you sew it, the harder it will be to turn it inside out, so you just got to do it until you're happy.
Next I then turned it inside out and I did the exact same on the other side. So I took the white part and attached that to the white part of the plush and I just kept sewing around. Again you'll want to make this about three quarters of the way making sure not to sew in any of the pink and like I said before the closer you sew it together the harder it will be to turn inside out so you want to leave yourself room to turn the plushie through again. Once you're fully happy with the little flat bit in place, you can then tuck it in so that the hole is completely covered when you have it the right way round. So next, taking some little felt cutout pieces, I then stuck these onto the plush. I cut two semicircles for the ears, two little eye bits for the eyes, and then four elongated semicircles, two for the legs and two for little arms. This I just cut out of wool felt, you could use acrylic felt just from the craft store, just any felt that you have really. Felt would be the best option for this, fabric may fray, other stock fabrics may like give you fluff and stuff like that, so I really do think that felt is the best option. Next I then took some white puffy paint and did two little dots on the panda's eyes. I then took some black puffy paint on my dotting tool as usual and I painted on a little nose and also a little mouth. Once I was happy with the little face, I then took some blush, and this is actually my real blush from my makeup bag, and I did this with a really dense makeup brush. You can also use puffy paint and chalk pastels if you have them, but I just have blush so I just used that. Now you want to leave this to dry and make sure that it's fully dry before flipping out. Once you're 100% sure that it is dry, you'll then want to turn this inside out. Once it's inside out and you've decided what side you want your face on, you can then go and attach this also. For this face, I obviously wanted to make it Valentine's inspired, so I used some red. I then popped some semicircles as the ears on top of the head like I did before. And I then took two little heart pieces that I cut out of felt and popped these as the eyes. I used two elongated semicircle pieces of felt for the legs and two for the arms as the previous design. I then decided I didn't like the length of the ears so I actually just went in and cut these down a little bit just to make them a little bit cuter. Once I was happy with all the felt pieces I then went on and added puffy things. So I took some white puffy paint like before, I actually just squirted this out onto a piece of cardboard and just used my dotting tool instead, as I found that on the last panda I used a little bit too much so I wanted to control it a little bit better this time. So I did two larger dots in the eyes like I did on the last one, with two little smaller dots below it to add a little bit more cuteness, and I then took some black puffy paint and did the nose and did the smile. So when putting puffy paint onto sock plush fabric it is quite hard when it's quite fuzzy because it can get all caught up in the fluff and stuff like that. So what you want to do is make sure you put lots and lots of puffy paint onto your dotting tool and then just tap it down into the fluff. This will help you get the shape that you want without smearing it all over the place. It really helps on smaller bits like this mouth, as you can see I'm just dotting it on as I go. 
I then left this to dry and it, and it took about half an hour to fully dry and I then remember that I didn't actually put any blush on this one so I went back in with my blush and really packed it on for about three layers so that I could kind of see it. It doesn't show up very well on camera but in person you can actually tell the difference. So once fully finished I was then able to test it out. So what I did was I just lifted up the flap from the bottom and turned it inside out and it just worked perfectly. I'm super happy that I chose to do the panda, I think it works really well on the black and white version as well as obviously the Valentine's version. Especially with February coming up you can have it all the other way the whole year round and then when February comes around you can just flip it inside out just for a little bit of Valentine's decor. So I hope you enjoyed this video, as I did say, I'm just going to repeat it once again, this flip idea was inspired by Macaroon, I don't want anyone to think that I've copied her or anything like that, but yeah, obviously I used a lot of different materials if you go check her video out, which I'm sure you already have. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll be back tomorrow with another mini squishy video, it is Valentine's Day inspired like a lot of my videos will be now till then, so yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow, bye!